Welcome back. This is Keith All, and today's episode we're going to learn how to link to a specific section uh, within your WordPress website. And today I will be using uh, Elementor Pro uh, to show you how you could do this. Um, if you want to el upgrade to the Elementor Pro version of the page builder, uh, there will be a link in the description below. So right now I already set everything up. And each one of these menu items are linked to a specific section. This is a one page template that I'm using to show you how it works. So if, uh, if I click on that, it's going to make an easy scroll down to a specific section. And um, so that's how that works. And we're going to learn how we could uh, set this all up. So let's go back into the back office of WordPress into your dashboard. First thing we want to do is set up the menu items. And um, you go over to your left hand navigation over here and go under appearance and then menus. And then I already created a menu, so I won't show you how to do that in today's tutorial, but look for future tutorials on how we can set up a menu um, using the pro version of the Elementor page builder and how we can customize that. But basically what I did was uh, once I created a menu, I come over here to the left hand side widget here. And um, what you do is you want to create custom links. And that's what each one of these menu items are. They're custom links. As you can see, yeah, I got home services portfolio, etc., and they all match up with the menu items above here. So let's go back here. But once you uh, you can, uh, if you don't already have a custom link, what you do is you make the URL here and your link text. The link text is what's going to show up on your menu. So in this case, the link text will be home or services or portfolio or whatever you want to name it your URL in this case since we're using like an anchor to a section within your within your website page we're going to be using the hashtag first and then whatever you call your section so let's go over here and let's see how this looks so in this case I named a section on my website page which you'll see in a section how we could set that up. I named it home uh, uh, in this case. And um, services, again, I named it services. A section on my website page is called services. So you do that for each one of your menu items. So in other words, when you click on your menu, it's going to link to that section on that particular page. So that's how that works but remember in the menu itself you always have to preface your section name with the hashtag or pound sign then the name of your section always make sure that this is that is spelled exactly the same way that you name your section so let's now go to the page itself go over here and then go over to all pages and then I'll scroll to the page that we're working on. And in this case, it's this. So we're going to edit with Elementor. Give it a second to load up. <clears throat> okay, we're uh, back in the... Um, editor page using the Elementor Pro and um, this is again the menu item itself and again I won't go into exactly how I created this but this was used uh, with the widget uh, in the Elementor Pro version called edit uh, your nav menu um, so anyways now let's see how these menu items are going to be linked to specific sections. So in this case, 
whenever I click on home, I want it to scroll all the way back up to the top of my website. So I named this section right here. Uh, you click on those uh, dots here, and I'm editing this section. I called this section home. And you do that under the advanced tab for your widget. And as you can see here, I named it home. So now let's go over to our next section, which is, uh, in this case, I called it services. Again, you want to make sure you edit the section that you want it to scroll to. Go under the advanced tab and then go to CSSID and type in what uh, the wording that you exactly used in your menu. In this case, I called it services. And remember, in this part, you do not preface it with the hashtag. You leave that out in this case. Again, I did that for all these different sections. I went to each section, and I went to the Advanced tab, and I went to the CSSID field and typed in whatever I named it in my menu. And that's how that all works. Uh, so we call this a, like a, a link, a jump link, or it could be called an anchor link. Uh, there's many different uh, uh, naming conventions for this particular um, idea where you can scroll to a specific area on your web page. So it makes it a nice scrolling effect and uh, it links directly to the area of the page that you wanted to go to. So hopefully this tutorial gave you an idea how you can link to a specific section on your page using the website, uh, using WordPress and uh, uh, using the Elementor Pro uh, version of the page builder. Uh, look for more tutorials on WordPress uh, in the future and remember to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell notification so whenever I have a new video ready you'll be first to be notified and also please like share and comment I appreciate your support um, I love doing these uh, video tutorials for my community and I want to be able to help you out uh, to become um, Whatever you're doing, whether it's affiliate marketing, whether it's building websites with Builderall or building websites with uh, WordPress, I'm here to help you grow. Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.